Charlie, is this a prank? No. Why do you ask? I'm just asking because at this point, it seems like you're intentionally bringing the most dangerous things you can possibly find into the camp just to get a rise out of me. No, that's not and what And if I'm... you've been trying to convey to me that you are completely ungovernable, then you don't need to try anymore. I, I got that message a long time ago. No, I mean, I just thought it could be useful as all. Charlie, right. you've already nuked our camp once. Well, twice, actually, if we're counting the mini-nuke mishap. And now you bring a full-size atom bomb home, like it's a date who's meeting your family for the first time. Okay, that was a little dramatic, Frank. Not your best line. And do I even want to know how you got this thing back here in the first place? That thing must weigh a ton. Well, I'll just say Kevin is very strong. <laughs> we also owe him some caps for that, so don't let me forget. Putting all danger and concerns aside for the absolute briefest of moments, what do you even plan on doing with that thing anyways? I'm glad you asked. This bad boy has probably somewhere between 10 to 20 pounds of enriched uranium inside of it. I can't say I'm not nervous about where this is going. No, Frank, think about it. If we take the enriched uranium out and scrap down the metal, that means we can make... Make fuel and control rods so we can make an actual nuclear reactor to power our camp for years! A Charlie, that's genius! What? No. I was going to say so we could make a few thousand mini-nukes. But, now that you say that, your idea does sound a little bit more practical. You know, at this point, I almost hope it detonates right now. 